My stepfathers had me from the age of 13 till 15. Just to clarify, I'm a 21 female now. I have four younger siblings. I'm the oldest. Then there's A, B and C. A is I share the same father, while B and C share the same dad. That being my stepfather. When I first told my mom what happened to me, my mom and I found out her husband was cheating on her with a co-worker from his work. My mom was thinking about dropping the issue and I pressured her on to leave him. She was really confused about why I was so persistent on her leaving him. At first, I told her every valid reason as to why. My biological dad was abusive towards her and cheated multiple times. Even gave her many still during their 13-year-old relationship. So I proceeded to tell her that her current husband will definitely do it again. Mainly because there were many allegations of him cheating. Only this once was actually had proof. She had still proceeded to tell me she was going to, to let it go. She then asked me why I was so persistent and that's when I let out my truth. Your husband has been sexually abusing me for two years and I want you to leave him. She got really quiet and asked me if I was lying. Tears rolling down my ears, I said yes. She was smoking a cigarette outside. She threw the cigarette down and ran inside. In front of my younger sibling, I, she asked him. At this point, I was having night terrors and panic attacks frequently. He then looked at me and gave me a stern look and then at my mom. He was getting ready for work. He then proceeded to let my mom that it wasn't true and that I was a pathological liar and as well as psychotic. My mom then told him that I will have no reason to lie about something like that. Him being almost late told my mom I was crazy and rushed out the door, slamming it on the way out. My mom looked over me and told me she needed some time alone. I gave her about 30 minutes and cracked the door open to find out she was talking to my grandma on the phone. I heard my grandma ask her if my mom thinks I'm lying. My mom says no. Then proceeded to let my grandma that he and I were close, that she believed he was having a relationship behind her back. Yes, I said that correctly. My own mother thought I, a 15-year-old, was having a relationship with her 13-year-old husband. I then opened the door and told her that we weren't, my mom being surprised that overheard her asked me why I was so close to him. I told her I didn't want her to find out and hurt her, and the only way to not raise any suspicious was to play alone with the act. Then she hung up on my grandma and called a friend or her husband, who just recently became a cop. She asked for advice, and he told her that it was up to her to choose cut the cops press charges or let things go. My mom calls the cops. I presented a blanket with his DNA and reporting my statement. He was arrested the same day. My mom, only earning 250 bucks a week, was stuck being the breadwinner of the family, stuck raising four kids, two being in diapers, for five months, my mom didn't believe me. She genuinely thought I was loving up on her husband behind her back. This hurt me a lot back then and straining my relationship with her. While her husband was in prison, she was offered a free divorce from the county. She denied it. She would get calls from him in prison. She'd ask for him. Tells him she loves him and miss him. Send him letters, send him 50 bucks for chemistry and phone calls. 
after meeting up with three different detectives and telling the same story, she started to believe me. The icebreaker was the result of the great kid. After examination, the detectives showed my mom my examination pictures. The excuse of a man grabbed me an alley, got all kinds of fissures and hemorrhoids from the abuse. I was swollen and bloody. Right then my mom looked at me and believed me. I had nerve damage. To this day affecting me, three years passed by. COVID hits and I'm stuck at home doing online school. I decided I can work to help my mom with bills, rent, etc. I will give her 500 monthly and 215 bucks for whatever she needs around the house. At this point, she still is in contact with him, for the lucy excuse of having my younger siblings talk to their dad, ask her why does she let my younger siblings talk to him if she knows that he did to me, and she proceeded to tell me that my younger siblings still deserve to have a relationship with their dad, which is valid. At this point, I was dating my husband for about a year now. I practically raised my younger siblings, considering I'm the oldest female in a Hispanic household. My husband thought the whole time their dad was away, was like a father figure. After five years after he was held in jail, I finally got a hearing and a verdict. He will get sentenced to six years with a chance of parole and time taken off for good behavior. Today marks six years. I've talked to my mom if she was going to get back together and she told me no. I tell her if she's lying to me and if she does, I will take custody of my younger siblings. She got so offended and told me even if I tried it, it wouldn't work. And I told her if she didn't have intentions of getting back together with him, she wouldn't have to worry about me doing that. That made her even more furious. That's not all. I also believe my mom's husband is grooming A. A has been getting in trouble with the police ever since my mom's husband arrested. He's recently been talking to her every other day, sending her letters and gifts. And my mom just lets it happen. I just recently married my husband and plan on having my youngest siblings come up to Nevada to visit me and my husband. However, my mom's husband found out about their trip to Nevada and I post. I found out he was going to be released this month and plans on seeing them. However, I just recently found out that my mom wants to let him have unsupervised visitation rights, even though because he's a sex offender, he legally cannot have unsupervised visitation. Yeah, she's gonna let him have unsupervised visitation, because he's their dad and deserves to have a relationship with him. I don't think what my mom is doing is for the best interest for my younger siblings. And I do believe she's putting them at risk. So I'm at the beggar for wanting to take custody of my younger siblings. I'm at the beggar for telling my brother his kids ruined my wife's books and they need a bit of discipline in their lives. We hosted my brother and his family for a week. He was in the city we live in for a work event and thought he could use the opportunity to catch up with us as a family. His family includes his wife, Amy, and their sons, nine and seven years old. My wife and I live with our twins in a spacious house, so overall we were thrilled to have them over. Our kids were also very excited to see their cousins. Juliet is a physician and is also very devoted to her profession. We have a room with several shelves in our house that we all use only for reading. 
Juliet still keeps many of her old textbooks and new books, journals, etc. there, and giving them a read every other day. She prefers paper copies of most books. She adores her books and takes excellent care of them. Our kids often join her for those reading sessions, as I do. They bring their homework, I bring my laptop, but Juliet opens a book in her laptop simultaneously. She leaves her books on the table sometimes. Even though we haven't even told them not to, our kids never touch her books or my laptop. While Aaron's family were with us, I was surprised by how uncontrollable my nephews were. My brother and sister-in-law also never told them not to do something which is probably exacerbated the situation. The last day they were with us, they went as far as using markets and drawing over some pictures in Juliet's box. She asked our nephews if they had done it and they proudly announced that they had. I also asked if they'd done a good job. Juliet was absolutely furious and disappointed, but didn't say anything other than these are in coloring books and you shouldn't touch other people's belongings without asking first. She asked me to talk to my brother about this. I told Aaron about the incident and said it was clear his kids has no sense of discipline. He accused me of raising my kids like they were in the military and said doing things like this were a part of normal childhood. The argument escalated from there and got very bad. We now still don't talk the way we used to. It has me thinking if we were overreacting, so am I the bad guy here? Am I the bad guy for informing my classmate about Latin on his father's printing website? I'm a part of committee responsible for organization in our school's yearbook. As part of our preparations, we needed to find a printing company to handle the job. One of my classmates, let's call him Alex, told us that his father owns a printing website and could potentially offer us a good deal. Naturally, we were interested, so I decided to check out the website to get an idea of their services. To my surprise, I noticed that in the About Us section, instead of meaningful content, there were Latin texts, lorem ipsum to be specific which I thought gave the impression of being unprofessional and unserious. I decided to bring it up with Alex. I approached Alex and explained my concerns about the Latin text on the website. I empathized that it might deeper potential clients and give the impression that the business isn't taking things seriously. I thought I was doing the right thing by offering constructive criticism and trying to help improve the website. In the meantime, since I hadn't heard back from Alex's father's company, I began looking for a backup printing company just to ensure that we will have a reliable option if needed. However, when Alex found out about my search for alternatives, he became even more upset. He felt that I was undermining his father's business and trying to replace them without giving them a fair chance. As a result, Alex promptly informed his father about our conversation, including my concerns about the Latin text and my search for a backup company. To my surprise, his father was deeply offended by my remarks and the fact that I was looking for alternatives. Consciously, he decided to withdraw his offer to print our yearbooks. Now the committee is blaming me for losing the printing company, and I'm starting to question whether I was in the wrong. They argue that I should have kept my concerns to myself. I feel like I was just trying to help and prevent any potential issues for our yearbook, However, 
The negative outcome has made me wonder if I cross the line and should have handled things differently. So, am I the bad guy here? Am I the bad guy for telling my parents that if they want me to visit them for my sister's baby shower, they had to pay me? Hello, I'm a 37, work at Fly in a fly-out camp. I also make really good money. Aaron Rowley, 3x the national American average. Which is great because it means I will be able to afford a life. My sister is 24, lives at my parents' house with her boyfriend while they go to college. She got pregnant and it's time for a baby shower. I was talking with my dad about it and asked her to remind my sister of my schedule because I went to attend. My stepmom heard and said they, they wasn't about me and to not try and control things. So drop it. When I got the invitation, I was in the middle of one of my shifts, so I called my sister and asked her what the most important thing she wanted was. She mentioned a stroller that cost about $1,000. I said to take it off her register because I would buy it since I wanted her to have the best of my niece or nephew and I wasn't going to attend the party. She asked me why I wasn't coming and I said that I will be working. She said that I should have told her so she couldn't plan for me to be there. I said that her mom had said not to try and control anything or make the day about me. Now my dad is calling me saying that I started a fight because my sister is pissed at her mom for me not being at the party. My stepmom also called me and asked me to take time off work to attend. For me to do so, I will have to skip a shift. So I will lose 14 days of pay. That is $7,000 minimum coming out of my budget. I said no, just not, but hell no. She tried to insist, so I asked to speak with them the next time I was home. We sat down and I showed them my pay stops. I said that is what I would be losing if I come to the party. I said it was really important to them that I'll be there, I would. But that they had to make up for my lost income. I gave them the choice of $7,000 in cash or $6 in cash and they bought the stroller she wants and has already marked as purchase on her registry. They are pissed at me now for expecting me to be paid to attend a party. They said that I'm putting money over family. And I'm being a miserable bad guy. I said that all it will have taken for her not to interfere in a conversation between myself and my father. He could have reminded my sister of my schedule, and if she really wanted me there, she could have scheduled it for a week I was home. So, am I the bad guy here? What do you think? <laughs>